Boots and badges. First responders teaming up with the Oklahoma Blood Institute for a great cause this weekend. And here to explain, Captain Bo Matthews with the Oklahoma City Police Department, Fire Deputy Chief Benny Fulkerson, and Jordan Post from the Oklahoma Blood Institute. I'm real far away over here, but I feel like we we can still reach. We can still yeah. we can oh, still get there. Doing? We got so many people on this couch this morning. It's morning. like a fun car. So we're so glad that you're here to tell Thank us about this event. Us. What's going to happen on Saturday? On Saturday, we're having the first ever Boots and Badges blood drive in Oklahoma City. Um, Summer is usually a really hard time for us, so that's kind of why we approached the police and fire departments to see if they could help us out with this event and why we chose the end of July. Um, schools are out, so we're really needing help with those patients in our right. local hospitals. So if you come out on Saturday, we've got fire trucks that are going to be out there, police cars, you're going to meet officers, firefighters, they're going to be serving hot dogs to everyone. You'll be able to donate blood, save lives. You'll get a limited edition Boots and Badges t-shirt. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, and then you'll also get a pass to the Science Museum of Oklahoma and a free a kayak pass that Riversport was gracious enough to donate for us as well. So lots of fun. It's hopefully going to be fairly nice weather for summer in Oklahoma. Right. So we hope to see everyone out and come and join us on it Saturday. Sounds, it sounds like a whole bunch of fun yeah when you were approached about this mm -hmm. obviously it seems like an easy do but you still got to do it and it requires manpower and it requires time why did y'all agree to get on board oh I think it's just a, a great opportunity for uh, the community to get together <clears throat> and find out how important it is to give blood you know it's going to be a great education you know you can the parents can bring their kids down they can come down and see you know we'll have the helicopter there and the solo units or motorcycle units or bearcat and things like that will be there and they can show what the what our uh, as public servants what we do and the things that we use and also they can so show their kids you know hey i'm going to give blood and this is how i'm going to serve the community also so it's going to be a great opportunity it's a no-brainer we you know the Columbus city police department's all on board chief what say you? Same way with the fire department. <laughs> We're always uh, looking for opportunities to do things in our community with great community partners like OBI. Uh, any opportunity that we have to get out in the community and do something that uh, can go a long ways towards saving lives and property because that's what we do. We're in the, in the business of saving lives. Uh, so this is an opportunity for the general public to come out and be a part of that too. And you can be a hero. Just come out on this particular day, have a good time. There's so much to see and do out there and give blood, be a hero. Mm -hmm. Talk about what your needs are. Like you just said, we know that supplies are low. It's the summertime months. How does it get to this stage that you're this low and, and what do you need? Well, for us, being Oklahoma Blood Institute, we're the sole provider of all the hospitals in the Oklahoma City metro area. So for us, that's a huge thing to take on. And in the summer, usually our schools are a big supplier of our inventory. Well, they're not in session. So then we have to rely on our businesses, our churches, and other organizations to help us out. So that's why summer is usually a critical time. There's a lot of travel, families going on vacation, things like that, where accidents, we tend to see an uptick in those sort of things. So that's why our need is so great in the summer and why we try to think of creative ways to, to get people out and help us out to be able to provide those hospitals with the blood products we need. Did you see this going on somewhere else? Where did you get the idea? It's great, mm -hmm. but yes. how did you come up with it? We actually, so our Coffee Memorial Center down in Amarillo, Texas, they actually, this was their 11th year. They've been doing this now and they partner with their police and fire department. And they, it's been so successful down there. They kind of have found the recipe of success. So we worked with Susie and Tally down there at Coffee Memorial and they came up and talked with us and kind of helped us show us the ropes of what we needed to do. And we decided, yeah, we think we can do that here. Let's see what we can make happen. And I think I think we're gonna have something wonderful that we can continue for years on end. It really sounds really wonderful. Will you all be donating blood? Yes. Do you get yes. asked that question? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You will be. Yes, we will. Not a big deal. Not at all. Can you Not talk to speak to that for those that haven't donated blood before or maybe didn't have a great experience? I've done it before and be happy to do it again, but what do you say? It's a positive experience, you know. I mean, you go through a medical screening before you go in just to make sure you're able to give the blood. And then after you give the blood, uh, they make sure that you're okay they, before you stand up. You know, they're, they're giving you all kinds of medical attention. And then they actually give you some juice and cookies afterwards. And, you know, we like to eat juice and, I mean, drink juice right. and eat, eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> right. So Who we're good. Like that? Yeah. And what, what, you, what about you? You're going to be donating blood as well, Chief. Absolutely. The fire department does this 
multiple times a throughout the times, year anyway. Yeah. And this is just something that is kind of a routine for us, you know, so we do it so often. It is truly not a big deal. If you haven't done this before, I mean, it is a big deal, but it's not a scary deal. Right. So if you haven't done this before, come out and do it. It's, it's really a way to give back and, and to make a real difference. And it, it's, it's, it's painless and you do get the free cookies. So that is a big deal. <laughs> That's huge. Yeah. And the peer pressure of <laughs> your children wanting to partake in all of these things and knowing <laughs> this is the, really the price of admission. So yeah. explain again, when, where, and how people take part. It's going to be on Saturday, July 28th, located in the Devon Boathouse at Riversport OKC from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You need to be at least 16 years of age to donate blood with a parent's permission. 17 and up do not need parent's permission. Make sure you have a photo ID on hand. Mm. Drink plenty of water. Eat a good meal before you come out. And, and come on out. Bring the family. Join us and enjoy the activities and help us save some lives. I love this idea. I'm, I'm saying my seven-year-old especially loves all things law enforcement. And so... I, I may see you. Be yeah, rolling asleep. We'd love to have you. <laughs> Bo nice. Nice and Benny you. Yes. and Jordan, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. We really yes. appreciate y'all being here and appreciate what you're doing for the community. It yeah. really does mean so much. I know y'all know that for yes. sure.